th- this here, I mean, it's, you know, again, it's a beauty pageant. So a transgender woman uh, won the, the Miss Netherlands pageant. This is silly. Um, pageants are silly anyway. But, I mean, realistically, what's it based on? It's based on looks, right? What are they asking a bunch of stupid questions? Oh, what would you do to better the world? Oh, I would save all the children and I would cure world hunger. Yeah, sure. Okay, just go shut up. Go over there. Look pretty. Here's your little ribbon. Uh, so yeah, so I don't think anybody really takes this all that serious anyway, but it is, I don't know how I would feel. Like, I don't know how I'd feel if I was a, a woman, you know, a biological woman and I enter a pageant and I'm, you know, everybody tells me I'm good looking and I look in the mirror and you know, I have two eyes and I know I'm pretty good looking. And, and then I get beat by a, you know, a brand new woman. Like, it's, I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. Like, again, I don't really care. This one doesn't really move my mercury at all. I really don't give too much of a shit about agents and stuff like that. I already think that they're, that they're quite, you know, they're, they're, they're narcissistic. It's like, oh, you're here, look at me, look at me and, you know, vote me the prettiest of all these people. Okay. Well, you're different people are pretty and and good looking for different reasons. Right. So it's like, yeah, who's voting? You got, I don't know, 10, I don't even know how many, let's just say 10 judges. And if six of them think you're the prettiest, though, you got the majority. Well, okay. But you could line up a hundred and you know, 60 would think another one was pretty. So who knows? It's luck of the draw at this point. I'll read this article a little bit. It's BBC news. So, uh, Miss Netherlands, Transgender model broke boundaries with beauty pageant win. Ooh, broken, broken boundaries. I'll be honest, you know, whatever. Let's take a little criticism for this. If you see this transgendered woman, um, when she's not moving her face, yeah, okay. I mean, it looks like a woman. It looks well, a fairly pretty woman. Now, when the mouth opens, changes things. But, um, <laughs> Just my personal opinion. But so I can, you know, I, that's fine. I mean, as far as a, as far as a beauty pageant. Okay. I mean, it's all about the looks. It's all about just the, uh, there's no substance there. It's just all about the, the, uh, you know, what you can see. So yeah, I, I guess if you, you dress up like a woman and you look like a woman. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. You're going to be able to win a pageant. So. Uh, Ricky Valerie Call, Polly, I don't know what, how to say this name, has made history as the first transgender woman to win Miss Netherlands. It's the first time in the Dutch pageant's 94 year history that a trans woman has been crowned winner. It means the 22 year old will be the second openly trans competitor to take part in Miss Universe in December this year. Oh, oh yeah, there's the other one. I think uh, Philippines or something like that. She's been speaking to BBC Newsbeat about beauty back, backlash and breaking boundaries. From the moment her name was called as the winner, Ricky says she simply couldn't believe it. I was in full disbelief the moment they called my name. I was like, oh my God, is this really happening? She says, you're living through a really intense but also energizing period and you just want to finish the great final with other contestants. Okay. This would be funny actually because I don't know if Donald Trump still does does the Miss Universe. If if he does, you know, is he going to (laughs) be great? Is he going to be so you're going to be grabbing people by the pussies? I, I don't know. <laughs> you, got a, you got a couple landmines in there, buddy. <laughs> Careful. We snuck a couple in there. <laughs> oh, there's a couple landmines in there, bud. Just uh, careful what you grab. That's all. You know, because you don't know what you might grab. All I'm saying. So, you know, good, good honor. You know. As long as, hey, she's not, she's not fucking, uh, she's not punching the shit out of other chicks and she's not, uh, you know, beating them at sports and stuff. So I guess this is kind of a win. 